loving the look. Is this Thank your you. mafia best? This is my, uh, yeah, this is, this is my, um, it's just seventies. I was like, I don't know. I want a little color. I just yeah. want to, I love the, my, the wardrobe for the show was like my favorite thing. So. Oh, I bet. Yeah. The 70s Hollywood. I know. It's finest. Uh, yeah. um, I saw you celebrating over there with a the wife and the yeah. family. What does yeah. it mean to have them out here tonight? Oh, it means a lot, man. I, I think these are always, um, they don't ever feel like individual accomplishments. You know, they feel like uh, you get to celebrate with all the people that you made it with and then the people who, you know, um, supported you and raised you and love you. And so, I, yeah, it's wonderful that my family and, you know, my wife and her family, everybody's able to kind of come and, and celebrate. Yeah. As people watch this, what are they going to be most fascinated by in terms of, of the story behind the scenes? I mean, there's a lot. Um, you know, it takes us 10 episodes to really put a bow on it. Um, and there, and that's, it really was, there were so many different obstacles and challenges to it. And it, in a lot of ways, it did seem insurmountable. And they, you know, there were so many no's and so many doors closed. But, you know, I, th I think the mafia stuff, I don't think people really understand how involved the mafia was with productions that were going on in New York at the time. Mm. So that's and Giovanni uh, Rabisi playing Joe Colombo, who's such an incredible actor. Um, yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it's pretty entertaining. How did you nail down Al Ruddy's mannerisms and voice so perfectly? Uh, well, You yeah. have to know you did. <laughs> well, Al, I mean, yeah, he's, he really just... I don't know, man. He was such a maverick and, and, and such a kind of a cowboy in a lot of ways. And he figured it out on his own. He took a lot of mentorship from, you know, from Bob Evans and uh, so many different people. But I, I don't know, man. Um, I watched a good amount of interviews and stuff with him. But it takes a certain type of man to be able to deal with the studio and deal with the artists and also deal with the mob. So you're trying to create somebody who is kind of a bit of a Swiss Army knife. And I think that's what great producers do and and that's what Al did in spades. Yeah. To go from this to Top Gun which people are also just so excited for. Yeah. What is Tom Cruise boot camp really like? It's intense, dude. I would <laughs> we're all a bunch of mini toms. Um, you know, I don't know I'm sure it's the case in a lot of his movies, but for this one, just the fact that we were actually flying in the jets and we had to, we we had to be in there. Uh, t we would not have made this movie if it was green screen. I know that was kind of a uh, prerequisite in a lot of ways um, for Tom to want to do a sequel. And the technology, we were able to get the cameras in the, um, you know, in the jets. Uh, but yeah, it was intense, man. I mean. We, the, the training we had to pass is the same for these pilots, for the overwater survival training. And, I mean, you, you basically feel like you're getting waterboarded for a lot of it. Yeah. To be portraying someone like Al Ruddy and then to be spending so much time with Tom Cruise, what is that like for you as just a person? I just feel lucky, man. That's honestly my favorite part about this business is getting to uh, kind of being, you know, a master of some or you know a jack of all trades in a bit and you really do get to learn from the best of the best and when you talk about Tom when you talk about those Top Gun pilots who are training us when you talk about you know Al Ruddy um, you know they really were they, they are they're titans of the industry and so uh, it's nice but a lot of the skills are depreciating so like I, if I were to get in a jet tomorrow, I would lose my stuff. Yeah. Really? Oh You yeah. forgot already? Well, no. You just have to. You build up a tolerance. So okay. if if you're not constantly feeling G's, then you'll probably black out. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I loved you in Taylor Swift's music video, <laughs> yeah. and Blake Lively directed that. Yeah, of course. Could we ever see you, Taylor, Blake, maybe Ryan Reynolds, your wife, all do something again? Yeah, that I mean that would that would be great. Blake has my my number and and you know Taylor and Ryan, so they they know where to find me. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.